Hi everybody, I just wanted to do a real quick instructional video for your Armour 3 server. In this case we're looking at a Nitrado server um, and how you can install and have running um, something like the simple single player cheat menu, the SSPCM, and or something like SOG AI. And these are normally single player only mods that you would download from Steam and you would activate them for when you're playing single player Armour on your local PC. However, you may want to run them on a server because of various reasons. There might, might be different reasons. But the problem is, in their vanilla form, they don't come with a public server key to allow you to do this, as you can imagine, especially with SSPCM, because you know even the, the mods um, developer doesn't want people using this on, on multiplayer servers or anything like that. However, it is a very useful, especially a learning tool, um, that you can use and it's very handy to make things easy to spawn in weapons and new loadouts and teleport yourself around the map if you're not that familiar with the debug console. So in this video I'm going to show you how to do it however bear in mind that this is something you probably don't want to do on a public server you just really want to do this on a private server that is password protected or whitelist protected that is for you and your friends so that when you spawn in and when they spawn in if they've got the simple single player cheat menu they're not going to abuse it you know you're still going to have fun with uh, your particular type of armor you want to play now the trick to doing this is within your um, server.cfg uh, server.config file so in nitrado when you sort of go to your server you'll go to the dashboard first then go to your config file and you'll need to add this in because it probably won't be there um, actually no sorry it will be there um, it's this line here verify signatures now your one will say verify signatures equals uh, one and so what that means is when someone tries to join your server the server will check that the mods they have installed match the mods that are allowed on that particular server you know um, the ones say um, at the front like these ones automatic view distance CBA 3 and web nights 2 primary weapons so say have you got these great you can join wait a minute you've got some more or an old version of those you're not allowed to join go away sort it out but by changing this setting verify signature to zero the server doesn't bother doing that it just says come on in it doesn't matter what servers what um, mod you've got installed you can come in and it will let you try and join the server and as long as there's not some massive incompatibility bill incompatibility problem it will let you in which means that you can then when you're in the game you know hit uh, m to bring up the map enable sss sspcm and then you can um, do things like um, the virtual arsenal, teleport around the map, have invincibility. However, what you won't be able to do is fire up Zeus. It won't let you do that um, when you're there. And also, you'll be able to use um, SOG AI. Uh, it's a, it's a, it seems to be a little bit restricted on the multiplayer. Um, what happens is you can spawn in teams um, and you can teleport players around and you can change loadouts um, and you can ask them to do certain things but they don't seem to be at the moment anyway responding to orders so you have to order them around using the vanilla squad system you can't use the wheel to, to order them around I mean that may well change by the time you watch this video but it's still worth installing it for the features that it gives you like being able to spawn in um, matching squads when you're playing pro fire teleport players that have got stuck somewhere on the map to your position um, and generally have soldiers around you that kind of match the mission of what you're doing without having to do lots of other stuff so it's still worth installing it even though it starts to be it's not as useful as when you use it in single player and obviously single player uh, cheap menu is really good for especially if you're learning armor the ability to just turn on invincibility um, or infinite ammo or just be able to teleport around the map um, is uh, very very useful indeed but as i say best not to do this don't do this on a public server otherwise people you know one that isn't protected by a password or whitelist because people will come in with all sorts of strange mods maybe not even deliberately but mods that aren't compatible and could break the working of your server or an, and spoil the experience of the other players who are on there as well so there we go that my friends is how you can run SSPCM and things like SOG AI on a multiplayer server in the web rather than 
a local server on Armour 3. Okay, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have it, like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.